Let's talk about a girl who spent 44 days in hell. Her name is John Koo Furuta and she was 16 years old at the time. She was very popular at school because of her beauty, but not only that, she was extremely book smart. She was a straight A student. One day while at school, a boy who was affiliated with the Very Dangerous Gang asked her out and she rejected him. He took the rejection to heart and he set up a plan to kidnap her with his friends. The kidnapping was successful and they took John Koo back to one of the houses that the boy's parents owned. Two days after her missing, her family put in a missing persons report. Everybody in Japan was looking for her. So the boys made her call her parents and tell them that she was safe and that she was just with a friend. The parents that owned the house knew that John Koo was there, but they were paid hush money to stay silent, as well as they were scared to say anything to the police because they knew what the boys were capable of. Things are about to get graphic, so this is your chance to scroll away. They kept her naked for most of the time to humiliate her. They took turns raping her. She was raped by more than 100 men more than 500 times. And one time there was a day where she was raped 12 times back to back. Most of the time after they were finished doing that to her, they would often pee on her. They would smash her face into cement and beat her with golf clubs. They would make her touch herself in front of the men to turn them on before they would rape her. They would stick all sorts of crazy objects inside of her from scissors, needles, iron rods, and one time there was a hot light bulb that they forced inside of her and twisted it around until it popped inside of her. Sometimes they would grab fireworks and shove them up her butt and light them. Other times they would have a big weight and drop them on her stomach while her hands are tied above her head. They would tie her from the ceiling and punch her like she was a punching bag. During this time it was winter and below freezing so they would make her sleep outside on the balcony. They would burn her eyelids with hot wax and they even crushed her hands so much that she couldn't hold anything. It would take her about an hour to crawl downstairs just to use the restroom. She was severely dehydrated and malnourished because of the fact that she couldn't eat and whenever she did she would throw it up because her organs were so damaged. Her suffering came to an end when she won a game against the boys and they put lighter fluid all over her face, arms, torso, and legs and they lit her on fire. She fell into shock and they thought that she was just pretending to die, but she was actually dead. So they filled this huge drum with cement and shoved her body down there. Then they disposed of her somewhere in Tokyo. While being questioned about a different case, one of the boys thought that they were talking about John Koo and he quickly admitted to everything and told the police where her body was and all the horrible things that they did to her. The time they got was very short. I believe the highest one of the boys received was 20 and the rest of the boys were sentenced below that. So they're now all in their mid-30s.